Hey everybody, Cousin Jim. I'm here at Angler's Choice Bait and Tackle. We're right at the corner of Rosecrans and Poe. This shop, this shop is incredible. Wait till you see the inside. Let's go in. Hey everybody, Cousin Jim here. I'm at Angler's Choice here in San Diego. It's the tackle shop I just discovered today. I just met Luke here, he's the owner. So how long have you been here, Luke? We've been here 26 years. 26 years, have you owned it the entire time? Yes, started from scratch. Wow, this place is incredible. I'll show it all to you in a bit, but what's the best part of owning a tackle shop? Working a lot. <laughs> no, we get to talk about fishing a lot, figure out all the latest fishing. And the nice thing about our shop is everyone here fishes and really avid fishermen. So we try to get out um, quite a bit. There's a lot of stores that guys don't actually fish. So yeah, they don't have, they're too the, busy. They don't have time. Well, we make time because that's part of it. I mean, we have mm -hmm. to keep up with all the latest gear and, and the different techniques. So the last five, six years have been bluefin. That's been a new thing and kite fishing out here. So we've got, um, we've developed our own kites for kite fishing. We have um, helium tanks that we do balloon fishing with and you put that, attach that to your kite. And then you're using really big, heavy gear and we've got frozen flying fish and then we have um, the fake flying fish like this. And, and, and do, so, the, do the fakes do as well as the frozen? Well, so a frozen flying fish is like $30 right. a piece. And so you can only take so many of those and, and then, you know, at a certain point you go, okay, we're not going to use them all, but it's nice to have these as backup. So we keep these, um, usually recommend at least one of these or two of these. Other and what's ones. that guy called? This is called a California flyer. A California flyer. Yes. Okay. And they come rigged. And so if you run out of frozen flyers, then you have still can fish out there. Cause normally you're going, you know, 60 to hundred miles a lot right. of time. Um, yeah. One of the things we do here is we custom do a lot of stuff. So like things that you can't just have done or get. So we do all the special kite rigs. So these we pre-make. Okay. These wind on to your kite reel. So guys are using electric reels for that. Right. So this, we have a single kite clip and we have double kite clips. And so that allows you to fish one bait or two baits. Yeah. So we have that. And then we also do a lot of custom rigging. So like all these leaders back here are fluorocarbon for the knife jigs and all the stuff like this last year. The You can show them the, your, your followers here, the yep. whole knife jig wall over here. So that's all the, what the big bluefin have been biting. Yeah. But we have to rig those up with like 200 pound fluorocarbon leaders and then we put big heavy duty hooks on them and, yeah. and set them up to land, you know, those two, yeah. 300 the, pound the blue fin. The bluefin yeah. videos have been good videos. Yeah. People like the bluefin. Yeah. And that's what got me fishing down here in San Diego again is just yeah. the bluefin being here. But we also have everything for like yellowtail, local yellowtail. We have yep. um, calico gonna... bass. So if you look down this section, this is all our plastics. Our swim baits, we've got a bunch of different brands, so both sides of plastics. We carry MC, we carry Artificial, Big Hammer, Kite Tech, and then it here is. we have a lot of our jigs for our, like Yellowfin, Yellowtail, the Kondas. Um, this, this store is loaded. It, it looks like a small store from the outside, but when you come in, it's incredible how much is in here. We carry all the good stuff. we got extra tough boots. We got, um, we have Grunden boots. We have a wall, usually a little more full of sabikis and different things to catch bait. And then we have um, all our pier guys who fish off yep. the shoreline. Um, so you've, you've set up for fishing off the piers, off yep. the shore, private boats, private boats, sport boats, sport boats cattle boats. Yep. We've got um, Look at tackle all the boxes and bags. Look at all the rods. stuff in here. This store yeah. is incredible. Yeah. So we have. After um, 26 years, Luke has done a good job. Pants. Clothing. Uh, yep. Shorts. Um, then, when I'm in California, this is going to be my new go-to place, no doubt about it. So this is like our saltwater side, and then on the other side of the store is more kind of more a little bit more fresh water. So okay. we have. Um, all our rigging stuff here, all our fluorocarbon, and then on this side is kind of our freshwater 
So okay, we, this, fresh. We're the only place down here in Point Loma that has any kind of fresh water. Okay, so, so this is actually Point Loma and not San Diego. It's part of San Diego. Okay. So they call it Point Loma. It's it's the very point. Okay. Uh, it's where all the sport boats go out of. Um, so this wall is all fresh water. We get a lot of um, saltwater guys who freshwater fish, and people travel around different places like El Salto and in Mexico. Then we yep. have um, all our trolling. Set all the and trolling poppers. and poppers and we've got um hard baits for trolling and then the spreader bars have been super popular we've got a bunch yeah. of different spreader bars uh daisy chains and this, then here's our iron wall um slow pitch fishing i don't know if you do that much uh, yeah east coast but this is all our slow pitch stuff and jigging we've got squish jigs and then we have our surface irons here and then uh all the nomad poppers and those have been super popular um, yeah, look look at all those poppers up there. Yeah. They've got everything. So we've tried to keep it in stock this year. It's been a little bit tough, but um, it's starting to come back in. You can see holes in the wall over here, but we're starting to get stuff back. Min, one of the employees, told me if those cargo ships ever land, you won't be able to walk through this <laughs> store because Luke buys everything. We, we try to buy it to have it for when you guys need it. Yep. So. Well, it sure was a pleasure yeah. meeting you. Nice meeting you. And he has um, a website which is anglerstackle.com. Angler's oh, com. Angler's Choice. Oh, here, let me get Angler's Choice Tackle.com. Angler's Choice Tackle.com. We'll get yeah. that in there. So, what a great place. I'm going out lobstering tonight. I stopped here to see about getting a couple of rods to go with my uh, new reels that are out there somewhere on a ship. When they come in, this is the spot I'm coming to buy them.